Hey guys, it is Snows with Crypto Marie Local and International. Moss's misleading election post viewed 1.2 billion times, study showed. After false and misleading U.S. election claim posted on X by Elon Musk have amazed nearly 1.2 billion views this year, a watchdog reported Thursday highlighting the billionaire's potential influence on the highly polarized White House race. Ahead of the November election, researchers have raised alarm that X, formerly Twitter, is a hub of political misinformation. If you want to win, you got to allow the American people to vote for whomever they feel like is the right candidate that can guide this great country. But for you to mislead them, to give them the wrong information, to take them the wrong path, to act like they are registering and it's not true why are you doing that this is not a third world country for peace sake this is america you have your freedom to choose okay i don't understand that you see it doesn't matter how much money fame somebody has the third world country mentality is still in them through their blood so for this man to have this big platform knowingly a lot of people will be watching will be listening to what he's saying and did not care about the regulation and the rules in this country and still put the bullshit out there. I think he should be, he should be uh, punished for that. You know, he's not doing a good job, you know, governing or controlling Twitter. I don't know why he called it X anyway. It's the worst stupid name he could call this platform. This man who sold it to him needs to take over and allow Twitter to be what it used to be. This man has a point of view. You can tell by looking at him. Elon Musk will never be okay with a woman in charge of this great country. Not alone a black woman. Because in his eyes and his point of view, they think because they have money, they are above the law. So something needs to stop. Something needs to be done. Okay. Somebody needs to step in and let this man know this is not a third world country. This is not South Africa where he came from. He ain't done shit for them. America allowed this man to harm the freedom financially he has right now. Have more money than people who actually probably was born here in America. This is how great this country is. If you have the brain, you have the mindset, you can make something out of yourself. Now he's trying to influence the result of the election. And you can tell, guys, the way J.D. Vance and former President Donald Trump speaking, you can tell those guys are doing something behind the scene allegedly. They speak as if they already won the election. It's already in their hands. Whatever they are doing behind the scene, whatever crooked action they are taking, whatever misinformation they are leading the voters to, it seems like they already have it at hand. They are the winner. So it, it seems like it doesn't matter how many people vote for VP Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. They got it already. This fool, J.D. Vance, went to Wisconsin yesterday where VP Kamala Harris' airplane was landed. Following the VP. Stalked the, the VP. Like, what are you doing? This is elementary stuff. This is crazy. This is bullying. This is unbelievable. This is not, again, a third world country where you cannot have any freedom to do or say anything. This is America for peace sake. To see this grown, merry, adult men with children following the VP's airplane to say, well, I need to go sniff the airplane because they say they don't know what kind of stuff the VP could be doing with those secret service and the, the disrespect, the way they treat in VP Kamala Harris, it seems that like she's not even the current VP right now. It seems that like she come out of nowhere. They chose her to be the, the, the candidate for presidential here in 2024, 2025. What are you guys doing? Why are you guys not trying to win in a fair and square election? Why are you guys cheating? Cheating is not supposed to happen here in America. You're supposed to allow people to vote freely. The mentality, the mindset of third world country people coming here in America, this is disgusting, this is outrageous. 
And I wish they could take a step back and allow people to vote for whomever they feel like voting for. We had this man in the White House for four years. The chaos, the disgusting, the outrage, sexism, racism, it was to its highest. We've had a peaceful four years. We would love to continue to have that. Now you want to take it in your own hands to say, you know what? I want this man to be in charge, even though the man you want to be in charge cannot finish a full sentence. Cognitively, he's declining. His brain is not functioning. First, it was President Joe Biden. Everybody say, you know what? He needs to step aside. He needs to do something. He can't do it. Da, 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 da. Thank you, God. He was a man enough, love his country enough to step aside and let VP Kamala Harris and Tim Walz taken over. Do you think your guy will do the same? Even though he knows he cannot do the job? Former President Donald Trump is infatuated with the size of the crowd. What is wrong with these people? He is comparing, oh God, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech with his uh, mega court crowd people he had. He said there were 25,000. It didn't seem like there were even 5,000. Comparing with million or plus of people from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Like the, the unstable mentally mindset this man is sitting at right now it's crazy it's outrageous and for anybody to feel like it's okay to allow this man to be in charge of this great country when he is infatuated with dictatorship leaders around the world king john home the china leadership madulo um what's the other one um oh god uh Putin, all those people, he loves them. He's giving them credit. Think about it. President Joe Biden did the swap for the American to come here. You know who he give credit to? Vladimir Putin. Like, are you serious? Are you serious right now? You hate your own people so much. You hate Americans so much. You hate your current pres president so much. You cannot give him credit for the swapping. You got to give credit to somebody else, a dictator. Ugh, this is gross. This is disgusting, period. They have also flagged that Moss, who purchased the platform in 2022 and is a vocal backer of Donald Trump, appears to be swaying voters by spreading falsehoods on his personal account. Researchers from the Center for Countering Digital Hate, CCDH, identified 50 posts since January by Moss, who has more than 193 million followers on the social media site, with election claims debunked by independent fact checkers. None of those posts display a community note, a quad source moderation to that X has promoted as the way for users to add context to posts CCDH said, raising questions about its effectiveness to combat falsehoods. Elon Musk is abusing his privileged position as owner of a political influential social media platform to sow disinformation that generates discord and distrust from CCDH chief executive Iman Ahmed. Are they going to do something about it? Are they going to allow him to continue with that lies, with this misinformation before the election? They need to stop him. He's not above the law. They need to stop him. Enough is enough. Let the American people choose for themselves. You are misleading them. That's not right. That's not fair. Again, this is not a third world country. You should not be allowed to do that. And it needs to be stopped immediately. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments. Bye.